So we'll go 14 and that'll give us some overhang on either side of the beams then. And if we need to cut them shorter, we can cut them shorter as we go. Hi everyone, welcome back once again to the Life and Pines. To our cones, nuts, and needles. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> All right, so in the last episode, you guys saw that we got the two huge support beams up on the yoke, in the trees, on the tabs. And so now that means that we are officially on to the next phase of this whole treehouse platform build, which is what? Well, we are gonna make our own floor joists. And we kind of started the process yesterday. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot done because Jenna had to go to the chiropractor yesterday. I hurt my neck. We went on a little like ride in the mini truck. It was super bumpy. I slept on it wrong. And the combination of that, like I just woke up and I could barely even turn my head. It so... has nothing to do with the huge beams that we've been tossing around. Absolutely but... nothing to do with that. Yeah. No, but so yesterday I was pretty useless. All I could do is help push the chainsaw and hold the camera, but I feel so much better today. So we're yeah. going to get back to it. Yeah. And yesterday we were able to just get a system down and see how long this is going to take and see what it all looks like. And we're, I'm very happy with what we have going on behind us here. Yeah. So it looks like the beginning of a log, of a log house, but yeah. we've just been enjoying this weather. It is supposed to be 44 degrees just like Fahrenheit. Crazy. <laughs> and it's unheard of for Minnesota. We had to put the snowmobiles away today because we've got rain. There's like rain. Rain coming. in the forecast coming tomorrow. So yeah. And so we're going to try to get as much of this done today as we possibly can before the rain comes and before I have to go back to work. Yeah. So, but, we run yeah. out of time, but yeah, but that's, that's what, what we're, we're doing, doing today. today. <laughs> Okay, so we just wanted to explain really quick about why we're using live trees from this area. We were both raised to seriously mourn any live tree that has to that has to be cut down, branches even that get broken. So the whole reason that we're doing this is for one thing. We're gonna save about $400 by not buying the dimensional lumber from Menards or Home Depot or whatever. So it's it's a money saver i mean it's a no-brainer for us we have the time and we can do the work mm -hmm. yeah and the the second reason is because if you guys look back here there's so many trees we had this property thinned back in 2015 but this whole area behind us is a section that they didn't touch and it's 
tons of these little little trees that are maybe like six inches in diameter and what the logger told us was that if these trees don't ever get thinned they will just remain tall and scraggly and yeah. they won't grow any bigger they will all get stunted out so really where it's beneficial to the to the trees to let the mature ones grow bigger it's actually saving us money and it's better for the, the trees. trees in the property yeah. so <laughs> Log Hootis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does it help make you stronger? Yeah. When you grunt? <laughs> no walkie. <laughs> no walkie. <laughs> Way to go, team. Oh, it looks so good. Wow. You think you guys are tall? I'm wondering if I should just pull and we can roll them. Right? It's raining. Oh my gosh. In February. I'm getting soggy now. Yeah. Okay, so we got all the logs that we'll need for the floor truss. What are they called? Floor joists? Floor joists, yeah. We got them all drug over to our little, like, whatever we want to call it, staging area. And, of course, now it's raining. So we're just going to go in, have some coffee, maybe eat some lunch, 
and see if the rain Stops. ends up stopping because we don't want to be working outside in this yeah. cold and wet mm -mm. Yeah. but we got this done so that's good <laughs> that was like the hardest part yeah. i feel like <laughs> All right, so we took about a 45 minute break and we thought the rain would stop. And it's not as bad, but it's still somewhat raining, but we just don't have the time. We just have to get this done. So we're gonna just get kind of a little system set up where we can just roll log on, throw the guide board on, make two passes, and then roll it off. Grab another one, do the exact same thing. And hopefully, not get too wet in the process. Yeah, well, we're going to get wet. I guarantee it. <laughs> Like he's something on fire. I know, I looked up and I was all of a sudden like, oh my gosh. dig up something good Maybe something cool you think he buried all of his hidden treasure here yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what is it Finley scrap metal no everything you dig up is very cool you guys gonna put this in your treehouse maybe it's a decoration I, I scoop. <laughs> maybe If anyone watching knows what this is, let us know in the comment section. It's heavy and it's metal. <laughs> Hence why I found it. Hopefully, it's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Maybe there's <laughs> gold inside. It. Earlier, we had said that by milling these floor joists, we were going to save ourselves $400. That margin of savability has drastically been reduced to the tune of three chiropractic visits. <laughs> so now our margin of savability is what? 120 plus, se plus uh, 70 plus 140. So 260 minus. So we are saving $140 <laughs> by doing this ourselves, which also leads into my next segment of for all of my dedicated pine nut followers who would probably appreciate a good theatrical fall this week, it's not gonna happen <laughs> because my rib is very sore. So it's a hurting unit this yeah. week. 
it was dislocated pushing trees down it popped out and it's i'm just not right yet so i'll get there maybe next week Father God, we come to you this morning. We just lift up today's project to you. We lift up our in the name of Christ. Amen. Okay, so we are back. It's been about six days since we were milling the beams and putting them up. We went from 44 and rain to now. It's been like a mix of snow and sun, and it's super cold and obviously very windy we had to mic up for this because yeah. it's just insanely windy yeah. so anyway we were able to get the full the joists up that we did have milled yeah we didn't get all of them done but you you get the gist you understand the process we have maybe five more to go uh, but as we were getting these floor joists up we noticed something that needed to be remedied yeah uh the beams it's such a long span spans <laughs> that it just it has some bounce to it yeah. and we kind of knew that going into it we did order a new tab prior to even doing any of this uh for the one side because it the beam perfectly lines up right onto another tree so that's the one side on the other side however there's no trees there so we had to do like a little bit of a different kind of a dynamic connection yeah and we we learned let's just say we, we learned and we have to do two of them so we've done one already and we have to make some changes. Mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't like how the connection was made with, it had the hook. So we're back today to basically fix the one dynamic connection. We're gonna install the other one and we're gonna install the other tab. And then we'll show you guys what it all looks like. Like we said, we don't have all the joists up yet, but we have enough up for you guys to get a pretty good idea of what it's gonna look like. Yeah, my eyes I are I know, burning. it's so bad. Anyway, <coughs> that's what we're doing that's today. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> so we just jammed that under there just to lift it up. It probably went up maybe a quarter of an inch just to pick it up a little bit so we can get underneath here to put that tab in and then we'll release it and then hopefully drop right onto that tab. <laughs> oh. What? What power is this? The generator. <laughs> Which is the sitting there and not on. <laughs> Thanks for taking over. <laughs> You can do it, put your back into it. Oh, there it is. It's the grunt. <laughs> of course, you make it look easy for you, huh? This side ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Yeah, so right there. That's where you want to drill? You want me to drill it? And it is going to be so amazing up here, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be intense. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I don't know if they heard what you said. It's going to be intense. <laughs> Thank you.
but that has to go up on that one there. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Seriously? No. It won't go. Make it fit. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> For the record, I don't think that was very smart. That was dangerous. <laughs> did it work? Well, I don't know, did it? Let's go find out. <laughs> okay. Any more questions? No, you, you were right, I was wrong. Way to improvise, adapt, and overcome, even albeit in a very dangerous way. Safety lady. <laughs> So we, we just need to disconnect that side now that this one's tight, taut. Disconnect that side, replace that hook. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. <laughs> Let's work smarter here. Is this going? That's going in. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so confusing. One of them is backwards threaded, so. No, no. Yes. Definitely more secure. So we have to go to town. Because this is a reverse thread. And the one that I bought is regular. So this will not screw into there. Oh, feel the wind rejoice To never make one single choice To know that nothing's gonna stress me Clifford! Don't let her fall. Sorry. <laughs> you okay? 
I'm fine. Oh, there's just so many jokes here and I'm just, I'm having a fun time just thinking about them all in my head. <laughs> Test one, two. Oh, we got, probably gotta turn this on, huh? What are you doing over there? Your zipper's down. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, so where do you want to go, my it's love? Right here, it's fine. But Gosh. we need to be closer. Okay, let me just... Is this close enough? Yes, that looks good. Just stay right there. <laughs> stay right there. No. I had it perfect the last time and you made it stop. <laughs> I've got a broken rib. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come sit on my yoke with me. <laughs> oh my goodness. So frisky today. <laughs> she was paralyzed with fear. Well, I thought I could walk on it like you and the kids make it look so stinking easy. Uh -uh. 